Hey there, welcome back to my kitchen. If you are new around here, my name is Mel and I just love to share recipes on here that I make for my husband and I every single day. Today we're gonna be making some recipes using one of my favorite things ever, tortellini. I hope you enjoy today's recipes and find something that looks new and good to you, but let's go ahead and get started and I will show you how to make these. To begin today, we're gonna make some Parmesan crusted tortellini. You will need to preheat your oven to 375 degrees. To begin, I am just going to go ahead and boil up about 10 ounces of cheese tortellini. These do not take long to cook at all, just a couple of minutes, and once they are floating to the top, you know that they're good to go. I drained the water off and then added those into a bowl. Next, you'll take a half cup of all-purpose flour, dump that in the same bowl as the tortellini, and then toss the tortellini in the flour. Next, into this first bowl, I'm adding two eggs in there. I'm just going to take a fork and beat those together. And then into the other bowl, you'll add three-fourths of a cup of panko breadcrumbs, along with about half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese, one tablespoon of dried parsley, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of oregano, and then mix that all together. Next, I have a baking sheet here. I am spraying this down because these will stick to the bottom if you don't. Then you'll take one piece of tortellini, add it into the egg, and then add it into your breadcrumb mixture. and then it'll go straight to your baking sheet and that is all there is to it. I was doing one at a time here for the sake of the video, but you can do a couple of these at a time, that way it goes a little bit quicker because if not, this can be a bit tedious. Once all of my tortellini was on my baking sheet, I added that into my oven to bake for about 15 to 20 minutes. You just want to make sure that they are starting to brown up a little bit and get that beautiful golden color on the tops. This is what they look like coming out of the oven. If you want to, you can sprinkle a little bit more Parmesan cheese over the top. I think that's a nice finishing touch. And then on the side, you can serve these with a little bit of marinara. I like to add more Parmesan cheese into the marinara. And then you can just dip these in here and it's such a nice little appetizer or a lunch like we had it on this day. Next up, we're gonna make this enchilada inspired tortellini. To begin, I'm just adding one pound of ground beef into my skillet. I'm just going to break that up and let that completely cook in this pan. While the ground beef is cooking there in the front, I did have a small pan of boiling water going in the back. In that pan, we are going to cook about eight to nine ounces of cheese tortellini. Again, it'll only take a few minutes to cook, so once it's coming to the top, go ahead and drain the water, and then leave those to sit back there until we're ready to use them. When your meat is finished cooking, if you need to, drain off any extra grease. Mine was pretty lean, so I didn't need to do that. Next, I'm adding in a half cup of water. And then I'm also adding in two tablespoons of taco seasoning. I gave that a little mix together and then I added in one small can of red enchilada sauce, one cup of your favorite salsa. I like spicy, so I used a spicier salsa, a fourth cup of frozen corn and one drained and rinsed can of black beans. Now you'll go ahead and add in your drained tortellini. Mm -hmm. 
and then let this simmer on the stove for about five to 10 minutes and let it thicken up. The last thing you're gonna do is just top this off with some Mexican style cheese. I unfortunately deleted that clip, but you'll just add the cheese on top, let it melt, and then I added some sour cream on top of mine and we just enjoyed this deliciousness this night. Next, we're making this beefy, cheesy tortellini recipe. And let me tell you, this was my favorite of the week because it was so simple yet so flavorful. To begin, I did just go ahead and get some water boiling on the back of my stove there. And then I added one pound of ground beef into a skillet in the front. I'm gonna let this ground beef cook. And then once my water is boiling, I'm going to add in 20 ounces of cheese tortellini back here. Once they are all floating to the top, you can go ahead and drain that off and then sit it back on your stove until you're ready to use it. Drain any grease from your ground beef if needed and then add in a half cup of water. Along with one of these beef bouillon cubes by Noor, you will want to crush it up that way it can dissolve in this water a little easier. I went ahead and mixed that all together to give it time to really incorporate in with the water and the beef. Then we're gonna add in just a couple more seasonings. So first you will want to add in two teaspoons of your favorite steak seasoning, one teaspoon of basil, one teaspoon of oregano, one and a half teaspoons of garlic powder, a couple shakes of pepper, and then we're not gonna add any salt right now. Just because that beef bouillon will have some salt in it and you don't want to get this too salty, so make sure you save your salt for the end if needed. Once my tortellini was done and the meat and the seasonings were all ready to go, now you'll go ahead and add in your drained tortellini. Give this all a really good mix to combine. That water with all that seasoning is what's going to flavor that tortellini. So definitely be sure to mix this really well. And finally, to finish this off, I'm adding about a half cup of shredded mozzarella cheese and a half cup of shredded Parmesan cheese. I added the lid on here, let this melt for about five minutes and it was ready to go. Here's what it looked like when it was all done. There is not too many ingredients, a little bit of seasoning, but that's really it. But yet this is so flavorful thanks to that beef bouillon. I really, really enjoyed this one. And I think this same recipe would be so, so good by using some shaved steak. I might try that next time. But overall, this was definitely a winner in my book. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I really appreciate you spending time here with me in my kitchen. Don't forget to leave your flower down in the comments below if you made it all the way to the end of this video. And I will see you guys back here on Sunday with a new video. Bye.